you guys will never guess what I'm doing today. We're going to class and then we're going fishing right after. But I am, I'm in a really good mood today and I think when you're in a good mood, the fish are in a good mood and they're gonna bite. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the dog whisperer. Is that how it works? I don't, that's not really. And then something you guys are always asking me is how? How do I bring the fishing rod, the fishing gear, and then go on the bike? Let me show you real, real, real quick. So you got your backpack here, and all you do, you know, slide in your tackle boxes here. That's, that's the most important part of the trip right there. And then you also have your laptop, way less important than the actual fishing tackle, but maybe, maybe you wanna take some notes. Just slide that sucker in right there, and you're ready to go. And then people are asking me, how do, where do you put your rod when you're riding your bike, man? Easy enough, easy enough. Put that on the side right there, hop on your bike, and that's it, dude. And then if you wanna, if you wanna look really cool, just, you know, no hands. Ride no hands on the bike. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone will think you look really cool when you do that. Wow, clear water. Huh. It hasn't been clear water for a while. Interesting, interesting. Oh, I didn't bring the small top water. Oh well. We're going big. Hmm, not ideal. Oh, I got a little trout. Nice, nice. Let's see if I can catch something though. That's the real test. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Oh, something is being chased, man. That's getting my hopes up a little bit. If we don't get a bite here quick, we're gonna switch to soft plastic. Oh, the crazy explosion. Oh my God. It's a small trout, but Jesus. That was crazy, man. That's why it's awesome to fish on top water when it's, when you can see your top water very easily. Get some crazy looking explosions. It's not even a big guy, but jeez. My dude, you're a crazy guy. It's a nice keeper at least. Nice, dude. Whoa. Hey, this dude's title said new soft plastic for clear water, not a top water. Clickbait, man, clickbait. That's right, though, he's about to get what he deserves right here. Woohoo. Oh. That didn't take long. What well, we almost we almost got ourselves. Haha, <laughs> what a predicament. We're just lucky man. We're lucky that didn't go inside of me. Woo! There we go, dude. You almost got me. A little crazy guy. He almost got me too. He got my shirt though. See you my man. Not a bad start right there. All right, let's go with soft, soft plastic. Got one sick bite on top water, and then nothing else. See, it's not clickbait. Mm. I am using that soft plastic now, and the reason I chose to use this soft plastic is because that water is looking a little bit more clear than it is usually, and this soft plastic is a kind of a clear, translucent purple color, and we all know that clear baits do look a little bit more real realistic in that clear water. And yes, we are fishing midday after class, but I am really just, I was just in a really good mood to do some fishing. You guys know how it is, right? Oh, there's a guy. Hold it. Right when I looked away, man. Oh, it's a lady. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're getting weird, weird strikes. He's not even jumping. Not even a ladyfish if you don't jump, man. Oh, he's already got a—he's got a trouble hook in his jaw already. This guy—he's not a smart one. Let's see if we can help you out. There you go. See what the heck? What the heck? Wonder how long that was there. It doesn't look too rusted. That's weird. Ugh. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Trout this time or another lady? Looking like trout. He's not jumping. 
please be a trout. Yeah, it is. Nice. Solid keeper right there. Very solid. Nice. Hopefully you don't have a trouble in your mouth too. You got a single hug, that's for sure. Pretty, as always. Sorry, my boy. Okay, that works. There's one. Ah, oh, little guy. He pulled harder than the last two. Actually, not a bad little guy. Definitely not a bad little guy. Not a dinker, at least. Wow. Oh no, look at this little bait, man. This is their worst nightmare. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, he kind of destroyed my bait. Look at that. Nice little guy. See you, my dude. Oh, they're still there. What the world? Oh, it's a lady. There's a lady and a trail spot. I think it's a lady. No, not the rocks again. Oh no, it's a trout. Dude, they're loving this bait, man. They're loving it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got matching eyes. No, oh, I don't have another one. Are you kidding me? Yes, I do. Nice. <laughs> What? I was just messing around, dude, and we freaking got a bite. What? With that stupid retrieve. That's sad. That's a big trout, too. <laughs> that stupid retrieve. I don't know why you hit it when I was doing that. Maybe they want it super erratic. Oh, we lost the eyeballs. We lost both the eyeballs. Dang. Man, these soft plastics are actually killing these fish. I actually only got them just because they were on sale. Now this next fish I'm about to catch, it is pretty rare. I think if you went out there for 10 days with a lure trying to catch this fish, I bet you couldn't catch it. Let's see what it is. What? What the heck? Dinker. First dinker of the day. No, another mullet! You're freaking kidding me, man. In the mouth again, dude. What is going on with this mullet? <laughs> he went for it. Oh, no. Dude, I have my phone in my pocket. Can't be waiting. Nice, man. Why it slow down and this big boy just comes and eats it up. Woohoo! Wow, dude, that's a nice trout. Dude, they fight like it. When they get bigger, man, they fight like a different species. It's a lot, a lot better than catching dinkers, that's for sure. That's about 20, 22, man. Nice freaking fish. Oh, I was pointing you in the right direction, then you went the wrong way. <laughs> Dude, the new bait, the new bait's killing it in this clear water. All right, man, so that's what I would call a successful day of fishing. The summer vibes, man, the summer vibes. But let's talk about this soft plastic that we're using and what's kind of unique about it. Well, the first thing is that the color is kind of cool. It's, I think the color is called purple haze if you want to get this exact color. But uh, something interesting about this lure that I've never seen on any other lure is that it kind of has a, uh, it's like, it looks like it's plastic dipped on the top just to make it look like it has some, some different kind of scales or whatnot. See right there on top there. And it also has those really big eyes. And if Paul Brown taught us anything, it's that those big eyes can attract some fish for sure. But the real feature of this bait and this color that came into play today was that it, it's kind of a clear color in that clear water. See if you can see it right here. See how you can see all the way through it? Very, very cool kind of color. Very cool, very cool, very cool. And heck, it really worked on those fish today. Uh, unfortunately, Amazon doesn't have these. 
uh, but I will put them where you can get them in the description. I think Cabela's right now has them on sale really cheap, and also if you live around me, I think Roy's always kind of has these guys on sale too. Now I think there's a little bit of a problem when it comes to this little plastic dipping, because this thing, it smells, it smells like the most pungent plastic smell, but you know what? It didn't seem to bother the trout. Maybe with other fish that use their scent a little bit more, maybe it would bother them more, but the trout did not mind one bit. One thing I will say every time I feature a new bait is that there's no such thing as a secret bait. No one bait is gonna be the best lure every single time. So just for you beginners out there, oh, not, not you, because you're, you're a pro, but just for the beginners, uh, don't think you can just buy this lure and you're gonna go out and catch every fish in the sea. The number one thing, number one rule is there has to be fish to catch fish. And uh, even today, other, other, other lures would have worked as well, but they seem to really want this one as well. And I think this is actually a good tool for clear water. Thanks for watching, and I totally caught that.